think it's a fencer's club. It's one of the best club in the country, maybe in the world too. This is the best club, not just in the country. I think this is the best club in the world. Absolutely amazing environment, absolutely amazing people here. I love it. And now being one of the coaches of the program, the Peter Westwick Foundation and the Pinterest Club, I kind of still can't believe it, but it's, um, it's been great. And working with, with this squad and working with, with the coaches here, it's, I mean, best in industry, best in, best in business. Uh, fencing club have a long and strong uh, fencing tradition. And for me, much more interesting working here. I um, always have been excited to work here because of the history that the Fringes Club has and all of the coaches that produce so many great athletes. Every time somebody's coming in from other countries or other clubs and haven't been here, they like, their jaw drops and like, oh my God, you have a fabulous club here. I've never been to a club like this. The first time that I came to the Fencers Club, and I didn't say it to anyone at the time, but when I saw all the different athletes, all the different coaches, all the different programs, I thought at that time, like, man, I want to work here one day. We have the veterans program. It's been doing very well. It's been going on for the last uh, couple of years. The U.S. veterans come in, they, uh, we teach them defense, they, they seem to have a, a great time. My name is Daryl Armstrong. I'm here because in 2014 I had surgery and I needed to get my muscles moving. I needed to have movement. You know, the VA gave me back my legs and I wanted to take it to another level. And I was never into fencing prior to 2014. It's, 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 sometimes it's hard, you get punished. When you don't do things correctly, you do push-ups and you don't really want to do the push-ups. I mean, it's, it works you out, but it just makes you like, okay, I gotta learn this, I gotta get these steps, I have to get this training, I have to get the fencing right. I'm working on flexibility, I'm losing weight, I'm working on cardiovascular, muscle conditioning, I'm working on everything. Four. I take more personal initiative, I'm, I'm motivated, I'm more optimistic. It's, it just gives you a sense of worth, um, which I was kind of lacking. I was never, I mean, I'm an American soldier, always a soldier, always moving. But you just like, you get that back, they're fighting you again, you know, and I have that. Yeah, I just, I just love it. In this environment, the director is really good. She makes sure that we have that, you know, what's adequate. What a great environment. People here, coaches and students, very friendly here. And when I come here, I'm not just working, I have fun in the club every day. I can work with who I want. I can work with level national team and with very old people coming and fans. That's why I like work here. What I think is very important, especially for the little ones, is that for them to grow love and passion for the sport. And the club's got a bunch of different things going on. One of them is an in-schools program where we take some of our uh, athletes out of the program and they're teaching uh, classes in different schools around the city. You're gonna make an attack to the head. You guys are just gonna go back, okay? Everybody got it? All right, go. And the school program is very important because many kids can see how fencing is and they can try out without basically any financial burden in their schools. A couple more times. That's not priority four. Because Good. either the Ready? club provides equipment and Go. everything or the school itself, so the kids don't have to buy equipment to try this out. And if they like it and they're talented, they can go on and then can fence. Fence. These programs, we are introducing fencing to a lot of people and in a lot of communities fence. all around the city basically and we gain a lot of uh, young fencers coming in. Fence! Oh, still his attack. Good luck. Shake hands. 5-3. We have a camp for two weeks with uh, some of the top athletes from South and Central America. Upper body, body straight. We have some epi fencers and some four fencers here. Basically, FIE wanted to provide them a little bit of practice with this training camp because on their own countries they don't have too many fencers. It's a very strong group. Uh, one of the athletes qualified for the Olympics already from the rank list. The other athletes are kind of getting prepared for their zonal competition. It's a very good group. So straight attack in foot tempo. A good uh, six, seven, eight hours of different kind of fencing related activities they have here.
what you get out of fencing is what you learn about yourself. You know, dedicating yourself to achieving a goal, working hard towards it, uh, learning how you respond to certain stressful situations, uh, overcoming obstacles, those kinds of things, things that you know, prepare them for the rest of their life. But I really enjoy working with younger kids and seeing them you know, progress over a larger span of time. We have a lot of different goals as coaches. One is to help kids get better at fencing, to give them an opportunity to do a sport, to help make them self, a little more self-reliant, a little bit more confident. And then there's the competitive goal. So when you reach the Olympics, that's really the peak. That's what we're looking for, to have uh, Olympians and hopefully have good results at the Olympics in combination with the idea that we're going to have good students who are going to go on to fencing college or kids who just enjoy, enjoy the sport. I like atmosphere, so I like the freedom. They can I, run my own program and make my own decision. How do I run classes? How do I do lessons? How just what I doing with my students? My own program can improve my students and improve myself. Fencers Club and the system of Fencers Club give me these opportunities for improvement and so to realize my program. I love coaching here at Fences Club. Um, the atmosphere is, is great. The coaches are all experienced. I learned from them. I work together with my wife, Irene Gershon. When people come, we try to understand motivation, goal, what they want. And set short-term goals and long-term goals, not depending on their age, their level, uh, their commitment, of course. To make Olympics and do some international results. Other kids just want to get to fence and varsity team. And we want to produce uh, good uh, athletes who can be at the Olympics, that's the, the goal. My champion Watson, this is first champion of the world. To 2013, this is my student. Well, working with Ipti has been a pleasure. I always knew that she had the skills and the athletic ability to become an Olympian. Fences Club, different uh, because does not matter you are president or you are taxi driver, everybody has the same suit and everybody can fence. Different kids, they, uh, they meet each other, they open up a little bit. Some of them is very tense, they come in, they're, not, they're very shy, they don't speak, they, and little by little they see, they open up, they start smiling, they do something for them in their life. It's, I think it's very, very important. You make good friends, you, you can find yourself in uh, different uh, aspects of uh, life. For me, interesting, not just fencing. For me, interesting how my students grow up like a person, not just like a fence, strong fencer, just also like a person. How they study in school, they, how they fence in the clubs, everything all together. You know, hoping to make the cadet or junior national team and then also you know, they're hoping to get into a good college. It's one of the advantages of being in New York City is that a lot of our fencers end up going to Columbia or a school that's local that we can continue working with them for a long time. I can tell my student, enjoy and have fun. This is impossible to tell in Soviet Union team, what does it mean fun? You must win, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> this is a... Uh, I like it. The first location that I started in was uh, 71st Street. And in that club, there was no more than five or six strips, you know, and somehow we made it work. And then we moved to 25th Street, where there were more strips, you know, and now we're here in this location. So to move again and to see where we're gonna be is um, exciting for me. But also the brand new thing is always an exciting thing because it gives an extra boost for everybody to, to work hard and Really nobody can say anything that, oh, we don't have this, we don't have that. The facility is not uh, state-of-the-art because it will be. We can, as a team, we can grow together farther and farther. Club is great and uh, we look forward to build it up better and uh, stronger and bigger and uh, in all aspects. I'm excited to be a part of the club and to have so many students that, that I get to work with on a regular basis and I'm really excited about being part of the future of the club. <laughs>